everyone and welcome to my new tutorial. In this one we will talk about skylight inside of Unreal Engine. We've seen that direct lighting and indirect lighting from it uh, works really nice and you can light up whole interior with it. But we will see now how you can enable and use skylight uh, to complement your scene. If you like this video and if you would like me to make more videos like this, please consider subscribing or if you have any question, uh, you can uh, leave the comment down below. I will uh, make sure to answer each one of you. We will now jump inside of Unreal Engine and I will show you how I made a lighting that you could see at the beginning of this video in the simple scene. Okay, so once we are inside Unreal Engine, we can go ahead and create a directional light so we can see what is going on in our scene. And let's go ahead and rotate this to something like uh, this. And you can already see that we have really nice models from Megascan and behind uh, there is uh, everything is black. So let's decrease. Uh, this intensity of sun and uh, increase the an indirect lighting intensity to something like 20 and uh, right away we have a really a really nicely balanced uh, look with just one directional light if you see any noise uh, behind just go to post process volume uh, type in lumen and if this value is something uh, low and you can see we have splotches behind so put this to 16 and it will work just fine so if you want to create skylight uh, to affect our scene uh, you can drag a skylight and just go ahead and transform it to movable and make real-time capture enabled and in this point you will see that uh, we will need a sky atmosphere component uh, in order for this to work and in uh, that point I realized that we already have something inside Unreal Engine that contains both of these so we will delete this and go ahead and create lights uh, and sun and sky uh, if you don't have that option just go to plugins type in sun uh, enable this sun position calculator plugin and you will uh, get um, this after restarting the engine uh, we already have something here uh, so we can enable it and you can uh, see that uh, this uh, is really really uh, nice so we have directional light uh, we have intensity uh, set to 15 let's decrease it to have five like before and if we increase the indirect lighting intensity uh, you can uh, already see that we have something similar but in this case uh, our sky atmosphere is controlling the look of our sun so if we uh, make it not visible you can see that we have exactly the same result as before uh, we will take uh, and make this visible because we will need this sky atmosphere in order to skylight to work as intended so let's go back inside of directional light and uh, we will now decrease this indirect lighting intensity to zero so we only have direct lighting without any bounces uh, for that we will use skylight so inside of our skylight we will go and crank up intensity to something like uh, 30 and let's see what will happen right away we have this really really nice uh, bouncing line from the sky and if we increase intensity to something like 150 uh, we will see that we have this uh, beautiful uh, background light and uh, if we increase intensity to something crazy like 500 uh, you can see uh, that this is uh, looking really really nice but uh, the problem with these high uh, numbers is once we go back to 
directional light and crank up in direct lighting intensity to something like 20 or even more like 200 then we have this uh, really really bright uh, lights that we don't uh, need so let's put both uh, 20 here and 20 inside of intensity and now I would like to show you that uh, there is a connection between intensity of directional light and intensity of skylight so right now we have in intensity of directional light of 5 and if we uh, just increase this to something like 20 you can see right away that even our skylight has been increased so we could we will see that better if we decrease that this indirect lighting intensity uh, to zero so we just have a bouncing light of the skylight and this directional light from the Sun if we decrease it to 5 you can see that right away our background light is decreasing as well if we increase this to 100 for example we can see that our background light is also increasing so there is a strong connection between these two and that is pretty and uh, nice because it is realistic so if you have a strong sun you will have also stronger uh, skylight so uh, it's really nice to play with these two values so you can uh, make something balanced and uh, you can go ahead and uh, do this uh, kind of scenes as your own likings so for my scene these uh, values are uh, doing a great job but each scene is different and you can play around with these values and use uh, this stuff that I showed you in this tutorial to make your own scene and art direct uh, your camera and lighting uh, the way you like it I hope you enjoyed in this one and uh, see you soon.